Hi everybody, this is the minerals video number one and in video minerals number one we are only going to carry on a few things. We're going to learn how uh, minerals form and look at a lot of examples of minerals. You're going to do way more looking, touching, holding examples of, medial, of minerals in class. Um, remember when you create a list only two of them can be used for jewelry or money or both. So let's start with the good stuff. How do minerals form? Well, the number one way is magma or lava cooling. Um, when magma or lava cools, it starts crystallizing, forming hard things, which are minerals. The longer it takes for magma to cool, the larger the crystals grow. And the quicker or faster <clears throat> magma cools, the smaller the crystals. The chemical makeup of the magma determines the chemical makeup of the minerals or the minerals themselves. It's kind of like when you make cake recipes. If you're making chocolate cake recipe, the batter's chocolate, you're going to get a chocolate cake. If you're making like a yellow cake recipe, you're going to get a yellow cake. Okay, but the number one way is magma or lava cooling. Um, the number two way is from evaporation or what's known as precipitation of a solution. A solution is a liquid. And if you precipitate out or evaporate out the liquid, okay, you're going to leave behind solid minerals, which is awesome. Uh, most of our minerals precipitate out of the oceans or other areas like hot springs, geysers, and streams. And very common minerals like halite, which is in your sheetrock in the walls of most of our houses, and gypsum, same thing, are formed that way, as well as salt is a precipitate or an evaporation. And then the third way is what's called organic minerals. Organic minerals are a little bit more rare, but it's basically calcite is produced it's a byproduct by corals, clams, things with shells. They make CaCO3. Um, and that calcite forms into, because it was made by an organic thing, it's no longer living, but it was the shell was made by the living thing. And it kind of gets crushed up and made into a mineral called calcite. And it no longer looks like a shell or a coral. Um, calcite, another very common one is dolomite. There's a lot of dolomite in the dolomite mountains of the Alps in uh, I believe it's Italy, to be honest with you. Okay, We're also going to look at commonly used minerals. Um, there are many metals that are commonly used. Okay, I'm not going to spend a lot of time reading all these to you. More commonly used household minerals. I mean, when you were a little kid and you were chewing on those crayons, oh, you were basically chewing on a mineral. Okay, We're going more in detail. A few other quartz. Very, very common mineral. You'll find that all over the places. It helps to keep time in our computers, our watches, our televisions, etc. Of course, gemstones, birthstones are very common. And well, I shouldn't say very common. They're very uh, well known. They aren't very common. Um, more birthstones. Hopefully, you can figure out which one is yours. And, you know, bonus. So, uh, always good to throw a little bonus. All minerals fall into one of two categories. All minerals or rocks, which are made mainly of minerals, can be either silicates or non silicates. If it contains silicon, it's a silicate. If it doesn't, it's a non-silicate. And there you go. Hopefully you can explain the three ways minerals form. Go to your book for more detail and look at at least 10 examples of uh, minerals that you can name. I hope you have a great time out there. Bye-bye. Mm,